Hi everybody, I have a share today. I actually want to share what um, I made during my crafty day with um, some girlfriends, lady friends, on Saturday, um, as well as a little gift that Carla um, provided to us. I did get some paper from her, but of course I don't have it on my desk here, so I'm just going to show you the little box that she made for us. This is actually, I think she said this was bubblegum box, um, that whatever brand she buys has these little plastic containers and she reused them to gift some little summer embellishments. Um, and I won't go through them all, but look how cute this is. Got flamingos, flip flops, there's a ice cream cone and she decorated the outside with these puffy stickers. Really, really cute. Um, and the paper, um, that she's included here matches the same theme. So, um, that is a really sweet, little gift that she gave everybody who, um, attended. So, uh, that's what I got from the weekend. Um, this is what I made. Um, so the stamps that I'm going to share with you as well as the dies and the cards that I made. So this set is from the greetery. Um, and if I pull this out, you'll be able to see the website. I don't know if she has all of the items in stock, but here's the website right here. Um, and this is the Simple Things, I believe is what this one's called. Um, stamp set, yeah. Simple Things. And I do have the dies. Um, I stamped a bunch of different eucalyptus branches um, so that I can use them later. Um, this, this particular ribbon here is actually from the next set, <clears throat> which is called Oopsie Daisy. Also from the same company. <clears throat> and there's that ribbon right there. Um, but I also stamped a bunch of these flowers in different, in um, other colors and, um, used them on a, a card. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I, I, um, stamped a bunch of those. This is the last set that I had, um, played with as well. I made an anniversary card for, um, my aunt and uncle. Um, this is called Ins Inside and Out Love from Paper Tray Ink. Now, this one I, I purchased used um, because you can't find it on their website anymore. So if you're looking for this, you just have to buy it used from somebody. They don't have this available. But it does have coordinating dies that go with it. I didn't use the dies. I just used the sentiment and the numbers from here. So here's my first card. This uses the Oopsie Daisy um daisy flowers as well as some of the eucalyptus that I stamped out and there's that bow and then um here's the sentiment that I used it's actually my aunt and uncle's 50th wedding anniversary uh and then the inside is just stamped happy anniversary um I used my uh blending brushes to do the background here and that blue color is actually from tailored expressions um I think this is confetti cake um, ink color. And then all of the flowers were actually stamped with distress oxide inks. So I think it's squeezed lemon and scattered straw is what I used for the yellow. And then the orange, I think it was spiced marmalade or spiced pumpkin, something like that. One of the pumpkin colors, you know, orangey colors. And then this um, bow is actually stamped with the same color as the background. So that's my first card. The second one, I did it a blending uh, technique. Um, so here's the eucalyptus branches that I stamped out. These um, branches, again, were done using Distress Oxide inks, as well as the background using my blending brushes. And I did put some water droplets on there to give it some texture. Uh, this um, banner piece actually comes from one of the same, one of a different stamp set. Let me pull it out here. This is one of the um, stamp sets that came out, stamp and die sets. And what she's doing is she's releasing a series of these sentiments. This happens to be the birthday one, but they all coordinate with the one die set, the basic sentiments die set that you can purchase. So um, you buy this one, this die set one time, but then you have all these sentiments in different in different um, sets that will match up or line up to the um, size of the. The banners so or the sentiments and the die cuts so um this one is sending uh sentiment sweet thinking of you 
And so that's the one I used for this particular card. Um, but then you have the alcohol ink blending that I did in the background. And I stamped this um, sentiment using the same color as the bow is to bring in the color back. So uh, that's my second card. I know it looks like I didn't make anything, but uh, <laughs> stamping a lot of the same thing does require some time. So that's why I'm going to show you this. This is just a container um, that I have a lot of pre-stamped images in. Um, here's some of the daisy flowers that I did. Instead of doing the yellow, I switched over to pink. And these pink ones are done using um, dye inks from MFT. So instead of using the oxide inks, I use the dye inks in different colors. So they're, they're slightly different simply because I use different color pinks in them. So I'll be using these on cards later on. I, I wanted to just get some of that down while I had the stamp positioner all set up. Of course, I didn't punch out everything, but you get the idea. They'll be used on some cards later down the road um, as I get back into my week groove. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I have another haul to share with you all. This is from Tuesday morning. You'd think that you know, hero arts, but, um, I stopped at a Tuesday morning cause we were over in that area and probably a big mistake, but, <laughs> um, I picked up the few things that I hadn't seen before. Um, so let's dive right into it. This is a succulent die from hero arts. It's actually two dies together. There's an outer piece and an inner piece. Um, and I believe the way that it works is it will stay attached in all these little leaves here are attached. So really what you're going to do is bring it, pop them up from the paper so it's dimensional. And then you can actually cut the shape out with the outer die. Um, otherwise it stays attached. Like this pineapple here. If you look at it, the pineapple is still attached to the cardstock here in this layer. Um, here's the skew for that. Uh, this is a house die from Hero Arts. This is the only one I don't have a skew for because it didn't have a sticker on it. So she gave me this um, at 149 which is kind of weird because it's not what the others are priced at, but she couldn't find another house die. But here's, you can see the house here. Uh, it doesn't have all these little windows and stuff cut out. So if you look at this, really the only thing here is this part that's going to cut. And I think that is like a window that stays attached. So, um, I got this layered stamp. It is a croissant and it has a strawberry in it too, a layered strawberry. So there's the layers. So strawberries and blueberries, it looks like. And I think that, what is that? Raspberry looks like, it kind of looks like a weird raspberry, but anyway, it has some nice sentiments. Um, here's the skew. And then this one, um, this is Bon Appetit. And the other one was called Color Layering Croissant. So there's this one. This one has a strawberry too. I like this for the actual um, sentiments. Not really for, oh, there's macarons in here. Um, not for the images. Okay, and then they had a bunch of different Daris um, dies. I don't know if I have this one, but I figured at this price I could probably just pick it up. Um, and the nice thing about their dies is that they already come with the magnetic um, piece inside of here. It's sandwiched between the two layers of cardstock in here. So you can't see it, but there's the stars and here's the skew. And then I got these are also Doris. They changed their packaging, I guess, somewhere midway. Here's the um, skew, and you, it looks like it's called Americana. I figured this would go well with these uh, military hero stamps and USA stamps that I purchased. Um, there's this one. Now, I, for some reason, I know I have a poinsettia die, but I like to have different size ones, so I went ahead and purchased this. This is two different layers of a poinsettia, and you get the leaf and the center. 
And then these are clouds. So there's a skew. And you can see there's four dies in here. And then the embossing bolt folders. Um, so hopefully you can see this pretty well. Uh, you can see what sort of pattern it is. And here is the skew. And then this one is like a, a village or a community sort of in a circle pattern. Um, here's the skew for that. I thought that was really fun. Um, this one's chickens. <laughs> I'm on my, my little kick with the chickens. Um, here's the skew. And then I got this um, globe or this uh, world sort of map. And here's the skew. And then these are uh, citrus fruits. I think they're all citrus fruits. But um, here's the skew. More citrus fruits. These are a lot bigger. So there you go. And then this one's just an overall pattern. You can see it there. And there's the skew. And this is Paisley's. There's there's an image. So, um, this one is like little animals, little um, wildlife animals. Probably easier if you look at it this way. Um, and then there's a skew for that one. Now they have a they have a lot of folders, and I did not purchase all the different types. These are just little houses. And here's a skew for it. Um, so just so you know, I did not purchase every single one they had, um, just because I didn't think I'd use them all. So, um, stars, I like this one a lot. So, and then there's the skew for it. So that's what I picked up at Tuesday morning, and that is my haul for now. Talk to you soon. Bye.